This lesson is where we're going to take shapes and using black construction paper and tissue paper we're going to make ourselves a shaped stained glass window. Now I've got shapes that are already in um, wooden uh, frames that we can use. So what we need is a piece of construction paper. You write your name on the back in pencil and then choose your shapes. You do one at a time and with a pencil you're just going to trace round the shapes that you like. Do this trapezoid and I'll just do a couple so that you can see how we're going to make these into windows. So nice and carefully trace around them and then always put them back or share them with your shoulder partner so that they all get used. Now the lines are very very shiny with the pencil so you can see them even though you're on black paper. To punch out that shape, you're going to put your pencil in the centre of the shape that you've just drawn. I'll just do that with the oval as well so you can see. Then you get your scissors and where the hole you just punched, you're going to cut it and just find that line that you drew around that shape and very carefully, take your time, cut out that shape so it's, it's nice and even. All right, so you need to do your best, best cutting for this. Okay, so there's my oval. If I just do my trapezoid, you'll be able to see that I've got two shapes already cut out. I'm just going to cut to the edge of that line that I drew initially. And then there's one cut. Another cut. Another one. And another one. And there I have two shapes already cut out. You should use lots of different variations of shapes and then you end up with something like this. So you can see there I've got squares and hearts, stars, circles, ovals, diamonds, lots of different geometric shapes. Now we put that to the side, always remember that your name should be on the back of it, just put it to the side and then what you're going to do is you're going to get a whiteboard. Very first thing you need to do is put your name on the whiteboard and I'll just write Donna here so that we know that this is going to be yours. I will help you. We're going to get some plastic wrap and we're going to wrap our whiteboard. We don't need it excessive to go around the edges, just a little bit. I can just give that a quick tug. We just wrap it, lay it flat. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. We just want it to protect the whiteboard, really. Then, when you've got that done, every table is going to have this solution. What it is, it's watered down white Elmer's glue and a stiff brush. And then I've got a box of tissue paper. Lots and lots of different colours of tissue paper. And you just take some colours and again share it with your shoulder partner and you brush you're going to fill the whole square or rectangle rather I'm just going to put this down and some of you may be familiar with doing this tissue paper effect with me last year but we didn't do it with the, the plastic wrap we layered it to get different colours this time what we're going to do is we're going to layer our colours and we're going to fill the whole sheet. Okay, and then I can add some more there. Okay, now remember you can put the brush the glue onto the plastic wrap and also on the top of the cling film. I get another color. Brush it on. You want maybe two or three layers across the whole whiteboard so you get different contrasts in colour. Okay, now you're going to keep continuing that until you get to this stage. Now this is one that I did yesterday. It will take probably half a day to a day to dry. Now you can see it's on the whiteboard, the plastic wrap's still there. But when I peel it off, it's dry and underneath, B 
because it's got the glue and it's been on the plastic wrap, the underside feels very shiny and smooth. And that is what we're going to use as our glass for our stained glass. So now if you take the shapes, you don't have to cut them out, but if you take the shapes that you'd already cut out and you put it like that, you've actually got a stained glass window. You turn it over and just with the, a glue stick, fix it, press it down. Again, make sure that your name is clear and when you hold it up to the light, you'll be able to see the stained glass window. Now it's your turn, boys and girls. <laughs>